so my role um, at UAL is specifically Campbell Chelsea Wimbledon. Mm -hmm. I'm the Immersion Technologies Manager. I tend to try and encourage kind of research and development in the courses just to kind of scope things out with the idea that mm -hmm. so, so let's take virtual reality as a starting point so back in 2014-15 um probably a bit later than that there, there was people starting to explore you know as immersion uh, vr was making its sort of second appearance um mm -hmm. There were students starting to ask questions about VR and all that sort of stuff. So what I did back then um, was try to pull those students together from across camp, across UAL, basically, and get them into a room to start talking about VR. And then we got like a, between us, we got like a headset so we could actually start, you know, a, a sort of development kit, Oculus kit, so we could start to mm. explore VR. So uh, that was really the sort of beginnings of the Digital Maker Collective. So the idea of pulling um, people together um, with a shared interest um, across UAL. Mm -hmm. um, so so the, the sort of DMC evolved out of that. And we've, you know, mm -hmm. virtual reality has been one of the things that we've looked at, but we've also looked at lots of other stuff around um, sort of artificial intelligence, machine learning, all that sort of stuff. The DMC meet every every week for like, you know, sort of tech meetups where we explore technology together, hands on. Obviously, with the lockdown, we couldn't do that. So yeah. we, well, so, so I was basically looking for a way to um, continue collaborating um mm -hmm. that didn't involve zoom <laughs> basically yeah <laughs> it's not ideal <laughs> yeah so because that's yeah that's it. well it's it's just you know i've done quite a few zoom meetings and it's just it's just you know when you do a lot of them it's soul destroying it's um and also yeah, everyone just definitely. looking at each other's face is just it's just uh not not good so mm -hmm. um so i kind of came across this which is so this is frame vr and it's a web xr mm -hmm. platform so web xr mm -hmm. is probably worth are you familiar with the term web xr no no okay so, so you've got multiple ways of experiencing um 3d spatial interaction so obviously mm -hmm. most most interactions happen zoom like 2d on the screen um where obviously we don't really explore the spatial 3D interactions that much. Some people do mm. in games and stuff like that. So, you know, that there's obviously, um, you know, that there's, that, that there's certain people that are aware of, mm -hmm. um, of kind of uh, either gaming in a sort of uh, spatially 3D way or or collaborating in a spatial 3d way and there has been other applications in the past like second life that you know that that, that was there i don't know if you know that i've um, heard of it yeah i think so yeah i mean i i really disliked second life when that first came out a few years ago i just just hated everything about it it was just awful it was just god awful <laughs> like the, the worst part of humanity all sort of it's like the <laughs> internet in but in your face constantly um uh, yeah totally sort of wild west just just awful so um so so yeah so i was and also i was seeing lots of um lots of galleries going online trying different mm -hmm. stuff you know they were trying different different um sort of modes of of delivering a sort of virtual online gallery and mm -hmm. a lot of them were quite conventional you know paintings on the wall um yeah. kind of replicating uh, uh, their galleries um you know they weren't very um good experiences and and also yeah sort of the the sort of uh, user interface and all that sort of stuff you know so so i think that there was a lot to sort of put you off with um yeah sort of virtual galleries um mm -hmm. so 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 i did a little bit of research and i came across this which is this is a beta a beta development which means it's not fully launched yet and it's going to be okay. launched next year 
sort of early next year as a and then they'll have like a business model attached to it at the moment it's free mm-hmm. so uh, to do certain stuff but essentially what you can do and, and it's built in WebXR which is um, okay. which is like I say it's built on a frame and 3js which is the sort of programming language that sort of um, underpins uh, the WebXR um, platform, but but the difference with WebXR is it is browser based. So that means, as as you've experienced when you've joined me, you didn't have mm-hmm. to download anything. You didn't have to. Yeah. You didn't even have to create an account. Um, no. you, all you have to do is click. You're in. You're in a. You're in a 3D space. You can move around yeah. with using your mm-hmm. WASD keys. Yeah. Um, so so that's the advantage. So, so I think when we're when we're talking about the transition into a different mode of delivery for galleries, then yeah. ac- accessibility is the top of that list, basically, or, sh- big or, one. or should be the top of that list. Unfortunately, it isn't. Yeah. Um. And and but it was the top of my list when I wanted to continue working with the DMC and I couldn't do it physically. So yeah. So so I I, I tried this out by building my own gallery with my own artwork. Okay. Um, because I thought if I could do that and it's a good experience, then yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy, sort of you know, introducing this place to other, uh, this application to other people basically. Mm-hmm. And it did. It yeah. was good. It was a good experience. I, re- I really enjoyed putting artwork on the wall and, and you know, and it, it was quite quite a conventional space. But I played around with with scale. Um. So so. So having done that, I then introduced, uh, yes, yeah, so, so I, I said to DMC, okay, let's try this out. And um, and, and we built a, a small community. So we've got about 20, 20 members that come, different meetings. And what we do is kind of use this as a sort of launch pad. Uh, uh, this is like a hub, if you like. This is like a replacement sort of meeting space. And then yeah. what we do is portal off into different parts of the immersive we call it the immersive web so obviously there's more than frame vr in the world mm-hmm. um yeah so, so in t- terms of web xr mm-hmm. uh, frame vr is built on that on that on that um on, on, on that sort of platform yeah um, but also mozilla hubs i don't know if you heard of that no I'm okay not. so mozilla hubs is a uh, another web XR platform it's open source and uh yeah you can kind of do different stuff it's 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 got its pro, sort of pros and cons um but it, the good thing is it is an open source um um do you know much about open source technology no yeah, no yeah. sorry okay, so, <laughs> i honestly do sorry. not know that okay. <laughs> so so open source is basically when a, a piece of code or development or an application mm-hmm. is built it's it's made open to everyone to adapt so people can take it okay. they can use it themselves they can uh, build on it they can add to it and, and it establishes a community of, of another like a community of interest developers that all contribute to that and the more people that contribute to it the better it gets and all that sort of stuff okay cool. um so where this platform is is is, is I wouldn't say it's open source. It's more um, been initiated by a company, and obviously mm-hmm. they're they're wanting a business model at the end of it. So, so I'd, I'd say this is probably more the commercial end, and then you've got the open source end, which is a bit more, um, like I say, sort of open to anyone to adapt. So with Mozilla Hubs, what you can do is uh, again you can create an account. You have um, the option to sort of bringing your own avatars because that, that this is a big thing in terms of how you appear in vr is is quite a big thing mm-hmm. um if you're in a sort of interactive uh, or collaborative uh, experience like this but obviously what you can also do in this scenario is just enter on your own so you don't have any other right. people that way you don't see yourself as an avatar all you see is this view that you've got on your screen. Um, yeah. So, so effectively what you're doing is um, you're basically entering a, a sort of 3D website pretty much. 
which is what you do when you when you enter a when you when you, when you enter a sort of gallery space mm-hmm. you're you're instead of going to a website gallery with pictures on the website you're going into a sort of 3d spatial environment where you're mm. walking around the gallery so so it's like a essentially it's a 3d website isn't it <laughs> 3d um yeah yeah in a way it is i guess yeah. so 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 i think yeah so you've got um so you've got you've got these kind of two platforms at the moment i'd say are are, are sort of in that sort of web xr space there are other bits and bobs mm-hmm. around but i don't really know much about mm-hmm. so it's so actually web xr Okay. okay. And then, and, and for me, you know, super accessible, but limitations in terms of, you know, there's uh, the fidelity of graphics, the amount of yeah. um, information you can bring in um, okay. into the space, you know, the amount of uh, the, the quality of um, the 3D objects or uh, imagery, yeah. and video, sound, you know, you can still all bring it in, but there's a limitation on on the amount you can bring in uh, and on the quality so yeah so, but is that a thing that's kind of advancing with time in a way yeah advancing so with time things yeah. are getting better it, yeah exactly so so it, it might be that it definitely gets better um but but i think mm-hmm. uh the quality of the avatars for instance like these you know very sort of most mostly sort of cartoony sort of you know they're not they're not very representational or you can't yeah. really have uh you can't do much with the avatars so 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 i think there's there's quite a few limitations mm-hmm. but there's also loads of sort of positives around um accessibility and 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 all that so 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 i guess that is one level of okay. of galleries exploring 3d web and immersive mm-hmm. uh, immersive web the next level I guess is that sort of, but also at this level, if you see at the bottom in the bottom corner, yeah, you've got that VR, VR tab. Thing. So yeah, you can literally get a um, all-in-one headset. It's called Oculus Quest Two. They are they got took over by Facebook. Almost everyone's been okay. taken over by Facebook. Um, yeah, so th- that's kind of a downside, or can be a downside if you don't want to link your account to Facebook. But essentially, you need a Facebook account. In order to run an right. Oculus now, a lot of okay. a lot of people right. that's, put, that's put a lot of people off, um, mm. um, uh, and you know some people don't 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 mind. But the, but what that does do is gives you sort of social capacity. There's a massive social VR um, thing going on where yeah where, where you can well this is like social VR. You know we're we're, we're socially connecting. Uh, mm-hmm. in a sort of VRE 3D space. If we were both in VR yeah. headsets, it would be even more like we're standing in the room together. Yeah, but, so d- is that kind of like it just follows what you're doing kind of thing, like your head movements and whatever? Uh, yeah, so, so basically when you put your VR headset on, uh, so, so if you've got an Oculus Quest, for instance, yeah. um, then when you put your Oculus Quest on, you'll go to the browser in the headset. You'd put okay. the you, same as you did with the phone. You'd just put your URL in the in the VR browser, mm-hmm. and then you just click that VR button at the bottom, and then you're in. You'll be fully immersed in this space, and it'll feel right, like you're okay. actually in the space. It's amazing. Um, 